Look at them all. Look at them all. There's two in that lead group there that are pretty pretty dark. Yeah, look at them which, all. which one are you looking at? There's two darker ones. You can kind of pick them out. There's a couple of nice. That's a heavy one right there. That's a heavy, heavy ram. Less than an hour's drive away from Buenos Aires is this magnificent herd of black buck. I mean, they've got big black buck, lots of them. That's a good buck right there. He's got, we've got four turns. See the quality of the animals. I mean, these are really some of the best black buck I've ever seen. There you go. He's not very dark, though. I wouldn't shoot him. This is just a well-managed herd of black buck. Man, there's got to be a thousand head out there. At least. I'm told that the black bucks are from India and were transplanted here years ago. And these are, this is a free-ranging herd of black buck. Once the prize of Indian Maharaja's hunting reserves, black buck were first brought to Argentina over a century ago. Here, the 100-pound fleet antelope flourished, its striking four-turned ringed horn sometimes surpassing two feet in length. On the quest for this ebony and ivory antelope are World of Beretta's Chris Dorsey and veteran hunter David Sashi, drawn to Argentina by the promise of free-range hunting. Been here uh, one time before hunting birds, doves and ducks, and it's had a tremendous time, but never big game, so we'll, we'll see how this turns out. You know, I've always wanted to hunt black buck because they're, they're stunning little animals, and I've seen them in high fence places in Texas and, and elsewhere, but I've never really wanted to hunt them in, in high fence, so when I came down to Argentina, I knew they had places down here that were free range, lots of animals. Oh, there they, yeah. On this property that is approximately 25,000 acres, probably find about 5,000 antelope right now. Brian's from Minnesota originally, I'm from Wisconsin originally, so we had that sort of Midwestern roots thing going on. He's been a passionate bird hunter, waterfowler all of his life, but also does the black buck on the side. So lots of common ground to talk about. I started down here now 10 years ago, and the fact that I can do something I've done my whole life, which is hunting, and, and do it in such a beautiful place like this, uh, you know, it's a, it's a no-brainer. Long known for the finest bird hunting in the world, Argentina also has a rich variety of big game, from red stag, axis bucks, and wild boar, to true exotics like Pear David's deer, and the trophy black buck Chris and David are after. i get you within a couple hundred yards anywhere right there. Yeah. We got about 50 of them coming right here. Jeez. And as soon as we get out there, I mean, there's hundreds, thousands of these animals. The black buck running all over the place in this island. God, look at them all. Look at them all. Man, we saw hundreds of black buck. I mean, they were just everywhere. I mean, there's just no shortage of, of good animals out here. Jeez, look at them all. Look at them all. It's a black muck migration. David was up first, and, and uh, we set up on the edge of this field. These black buck are just kind of milling around. Try to pick out a really, really dark coat. That's a mature one. They're going to be heaviest. It's just so hard to shoot because you got so many of them together. At one point, I wanted to shoot a buck, but I couldn't. There were just so many does that kept filing behind it, and, and never did get a shot at that buck. Uh, he finally walked off with them, but, but there was no chance to shoot because of so many animals in view. They just keep moving and moving and moving, so um, you'll be set up for a shot on one and just hoping for him to stop. Sure like staying out in the middle of the field, don't they? I'm telling you. Finally, there was uh, uh, two bucks that, that stood uh, next to one, uh, there was three actually, one bedded down. God, look at them all. Which, which one are you looking at? No, there's, there's two, two darker ones. You can kind of pick them out. I mean, one, one laid down. Yeah, yeah. Where is he from there? There's one to the left, one to the right of him. They're both pretty good. All right, they're which not, one? They're not, they're not super dark, but they're they're both pretty good. They're mature. Dealer's choice, man, up to you. I'll take the one on the right. He's got one that's broadside, probably 50, 60 yards away. Beautiful, beautiful buck. Good shot. <laughs> That'll do, huh? <laughs> yeah. Well done, man. He's not going, look at them all. Look at them all. Wow. My God, Lord. Look at all these things. And he just drilled this one, beautiful spirals on it. Nicely done, man. Thank that you. thing is Thank just you. toast right there. High shoulder, huh? Beautiful animal. Yeah, they are yeah. gorgeous animals. Let's go have a look. <laughs> all right, I'll take I have a feeling he's going to be just where he dropped. Nice right. shot, man. Well done. Tell you what, you got to be a good shot to get these little guys, huh? There's not much of a target. I've seen European hares as big as that. <laughs> this is tiger food, basically. They like it here because there's no tigers, right? Right. 
except those that come down from America with tikas. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Nicely done, man. Well, yeah. thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Yeah. Huh. Think you can drag them out by yourself? I probably can handle it. <laughs> I could probably handle it. Put them in your, your game vest. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Gorgeous. <laughs> and we're not done yet. Hunter David Sashi has taken a true trophy black buck. Now Chris Dorsey has to see if he can weave a shot through a herd of hundreds of spiral horned antelope. Just right up here, you want to set here? I'm just going to use this as a rest back here. Dave, let me use that pack, would you? Here you go. That'd be a sweet spot right here. So we set up kind of in the corner of a field, a bit of a windmill set up there, just a little bit of cover and kind of a big grassy field. There's many of them out there grazing. Got some coming right now. See that? Yeah, look at them. Look at them all. Look at them all. Dear God, look at that. Jeez, look at that. Every man for himself, shooting self-defense. Hey, the last bullet for yourselves. Look at that. How do you choose? <laughs> look at that. One, two, or three, and there were four curls. Somebody here, somebody asks you where black buck come from, you tell them this field right here. Yeah, look at that. And this herd just shifts out in the middle of the field. They were thinking it was going to come a little bit closer to kind of the fence line where we were, but they stayed out in the middle of the field and I, I picked out one daddy, four curls on them, just a magnificent black buck. Kyle's behind him. Head down. Head down. Walk in. And I'm on him. It felt good. Squeeze the trigger just under them. I mean, just a little bit under them. They shoot out of there, they're gone. We sit there and there's one lone buck, a good one, still on the far side of the field. And he's kind of way out there. Didn't really think there was much chance that he would come past. What's he looking at? But then out of nowhere, out of nowhere, comes these does. Does, look at these does coming in. Does. Something's pushing those does over here. Oh, he's coming for them. Look at that, look at that. Coming to him. From a completely different field, they come trotting in. He sees the does, they're in rut, so he comes trotting after them. Those does bring him right up to us. He's gonna come right down this line, isn't he? Yeah. He's gonna follow them. Better get ready. Look at this, here they come, here they come. It's one of those sort of divine intervention deals where the does just literally brought him within 60, 70 yards. Ready? Take it. Good shot, Chris. There <laughs> to go, bud. Good shot. <laughs> Look at that. Was that Excellent. sweet? Talk about what the doctor ordered right there. Delivered. Wow. Delivered, right. man. Good shot. Muchas gracias, senor. Bueno. He's nice and dark. I can't tell how many curls he's got, but he sure is nice and dark. I remember yeah. him. Oh, yeah. Mr. Fatal Attraction right there. Yes, sir. Look at that. <laughs> Gorgeous. Heavy, huh? Yes, Old sir. Guy. Heavy. Congratulations. Mr. Black Buck. Look at that. Boy, are they gorgeous. Heavy, gnarly. You know, everything Beautiful does shot. well in Argentina. The stags, the Black Buck, the Axis, the doves, everything the they, yeah, the and Everything's ducks. healthy. Everything they bring in down here, though, does really well. Great to share with you, man. Good job. Good to be with you. Excellent. For years, try to get one of these critters, wanting to get one of these critters, but not doing it in high fence. And to finally get it all the way down here in Argentina and get a really nice one, it was just a very satisfying way to hunt.